Oh! Hey guys, it's Alex here. Welcome back to my channel. You may have just watched my previous video with the build mode, buy mode, and create a sim content. If you haven't, I'll place a little thing here. You can take a click, watch that one too. And um, this video, we're going to be going through some of the gameplay of the new Sims 4 Parenthood game pack. So we've got two houses here. It's, uh, they look similar, correct? We've got one that's black and white. We've got one that's super duper colorful. Um, in fact, they're very similar. But there's one main thing that is the difference. And first of all, we're going to check out the black and white house. So this house belongs to the Rivers family. It looks like they've got mail as well. <laughs> and some bacon and eggs out the front, which is hilarious. Now these guys are great parents. We've got, first of all, we've got Alan Rivers. He's currently having a nap because he spent most of the night looking after the baby, um, who is now currently dancing up storm. This is Elliot and his poopy bum. Um, obviously we need to get that sorted, but he's happy just dancing along in his uh, brother's room at the moment. Now the rest of the family are currently out. They are volunteering at the beach cleanup, which is super adorable. Something you guys can all do as family or just one person can actually go out and volunteer, which I'll explain to you what it does in a minute. And I will just go through the current household. So we've got Mercedes Rivers. Mercedes Rivers is family orientated she's cheerful she's a snob and she's a quick learner and she's also compassionate so in this pack we actually get 11 new traits which is super exciting but the thing is you have to work for them and I tell you what it is hard work now we've got Alan who is romantic he's a genius he's family orientated he's domestic and he's also a mediator so he also has the super parent aspiration which is the new aspiration for the parenthood pack obviously as you can see his satisfaction points are pretty high so he currently wants to achieve a level 10 parenting skill he's got level 7 go into full parent mode and have a child with three positive character value traits but what is a character value trait i hear you say well let's buzz out and have a look at the content first of the amazing room that i decorated here Okay, so we've got Leo. Leo's a teenager. He is a musical genius. He's currently cleaning up the beach, which is very exciting. Um, and we'll just go to his personality really quick and we'll see we've got five new meters here, which is really exciting. This is the new part of this game pack. Now, this happens quite a lot in parenthood. A lot of pop-ups happen um, and all of these things will actually contribute to the way that your children grow up. So we don't ignore them. Brandon was picking up trash on the beach when he overheard one of the volunteers mocking another volunteer for walking slowly. What should he do? Um, I would confront the bullies. And Leo was carrying a huge armload of trash when he tripped and fell on his face. Uh oh, a cute sim witnessed the whole thing and he's really embarrassed. What did he do? Let's ignore it and just pick it up and keep going. So Brandon approached the bullies calmly and convinced them to leave the other sim alone. The bully sim was really grateful and they had a good time chatting. Oh, that's cute. And Leo shook off his embarrassment, picked up the trash again, and the cute sim came over to help and made Leo's day. Oh. So Brandon gained some conflict resolution and social. And Leo Rivers gained some emotional control and became happy. So, see what I mean? It actually does matter. <laughs> And these do happen quite often, and they interrupt me all the time. Anyway, so I'll go through the character values really quick. So we've got manners, so things like cleaning up and saying please and thank you and um, doing the dishes and, you know, just generally being a good dude will give you good manners. Things that will give you bad manners are like belching and farting and swearing and throwing tantrums, that kind of thing. Um, apparently also, I love this, toddlers taking off their clothes in front of strangers is also bad manners. Well, I think if anybody took their clothes off in front of strangers it would be bad manners but you know each story responsibility so this is the kind of thing that um leo is is pretty good at he's good at doing his homework he is great at um taking out the trash and all that kind of thing he'll always have the house clean so doing that kind of thing will you know if the baby makes a mess he'll clean it up he'll look after the baby that all increases responsibility which is really cool things that Decreased responsibility is like wagging school and not doing your homework and that kind of thing. So yeah, it's um, it's it's a bit tricky to get into the red, but 
it can happen. Now, conflict resolution obviously is just fighting and being, you know, just generally a good dude and like not arguing with your siblings. And empathy, obviously, we all know what empathy means. It means that like whether you can play well with others and you understand how they're emotional traits work and then we've got emotional control now as you can see leo's not very good at emotional control but that's because he's a loner he wants to be alone most of the time so if he has to spend time with his family obviously you'd get a bit cranky too right okay so um you can do things like winding down um or jogging or destroying doll houses or school project boxes will decrease it i don't think he's destroyed any projects but there you go he's just a, a little bit emotionally sensitive i think and then we'll go and have a look at brandon now brandon's the child and let's just ignore the fact that he's a purple bear at the moment i'll we'll talk about that in a second so as you can see brandon's got his responsible badge so if he keeps this up and like does this all the way through his teenage years he will actually get the responsible trait which is really cool and manners obviously emotional control empathy and conflict resolution now Brandon is a geek as we get with most of them but he's also going through a phase so the childhood phase is he wants to be a bear and I tell you what I'm not going to take him out of the bear outfit because he will really get quite distraught and I'll show you later but we're just going to leave him in the bear costume. Just leave him in the bear costume. It looks like everybody's coming home now from their volunteering, which is cool. And we've got this stinky little baby. He's independent. And obviously, because he's still a baby, he's still learning. So things like, you know, you can click on the floor and you can make a mess. That's going to decrease responsibility. We can, you know, wander. We can take clothes off. We can cry, make a mess. All these things are actually going to affect the way that he works now i'm gonna wake up dad because he's been there sleeping for a long time and get back here baby give this little tot a bath because he's dirty so here are some of the new socials you can usually see they're new because they've got the parenthood little pack on there um and there is actually the whole new parenting branch here as well which we'll go into in a second i'm gonna give him a bubble bath and all these guys can come home now And there, there's the beautiful grape bear suit. I think I really want a bear suit. Anyway, as you go past that, can you just pay the bills here, please? Okay, so it's 4.30. I think it's time to tidy up. What do you think? Leo is going to ask his mum for some advice. This is another one of the things that you can do as a teen. It just happens automatically. Um, wait, here it is. Wait, Brandon asked. Okay, I'm not sure what happened there. But anyway, someone asked. <laughs> Some kids at school were being mean to one of my friends. I wanted to help, but I didn't know what to do. What do you think I should have done? So again, choosing one of these options is going to affect the way that they grow up. Step in and stand up for your friend or stay out of it and console your friend afterwards. Now, I would personally stand, step in. So that's going to increase his conflict resolution. But he loses manners. So... My face is a mess. I can't go anywhere looking like this. What can I do? It's fine. It's fine. Thanks for the advice. Mercedes has advised Brandon that affecting his character values. And Leo, his manners increase, but his emotional control decreases. Look, that's just what happens when you're a teen. <laughs> so I wish I could show you what Brandon looked like, but he's currently in his bear state, and I don't want to take him out of his bear state because he will actually cry. And we don't want that because at the moment he is feeling pretty good. Although he needs some video games. But he's going to go do his homework on a Saturday. What a good dude. See, he's a good kid. So, because he's doing his homework, what we can do is get mum, who is apparently going to use the toilet. Alright, maybe we'll do that first. <laughs> okay. Mum has finished with the loo. <laughs> so now we're going to check out some of this. So she can actually help with the homework. Let's get her to do that. So that means she's going to come over here and she's going to sit with him and do the normal help with homework thing, but it's actually going to increase his responsibility, I'm pretty sure. Oh, he's already completed it. Oh, well, you just did too good, too well. Good work, Brandon. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go to parenting and we're going to encourage his recent behavior and encourage that he's been doing his homework.
<laughs> and that will increase his responsibility. I don't know why it didn't do it, but it should be done. <laughs> it should have done it. Um, okay, so here's some more of these options that we've got here. So we've got parenting. We can talk about the bear costume. Let's talk about let's talk about the bear costume. Let's talk about the bear in the room, shall we? Wait, where, where do we go? Is he no longer in his bear costume? He's not. See, now I don't want to look at this kid in the shower, but woo. he's sad now. Unbearable sadness from I'm a bear. Brandon longs to be in his bear form. So he may or may not come out in his bear form. We don't know. Um, in the meantime, let's get someone to set this table. Let's move these books out of the way. And by books, I mean homework and journal, which we probably shouldn't be leaving around, Brandon. And let's get Leo to set the table. So you can actually choose different settings, which is really, really cute. So you've got party, we've got fancy, and then we've got casual. I think I'm going to use... Let's try this border one. I haven't done that yet. And what's Dad doing? He's making... Yo, don't make a garden salad. Yo. Let's make something better. Oh, look, Brandon's in his panda bear. It's not the same. I tried to make him happy by putting him in a panda bear costume. He was not having it. Let's have fish and chips for tea. Oh, here we go. We've just got a notification saying that Leo's manners are in range. So that means that... Where are we? Here we go. So see how he's in the dark bit now? That means that when he grows up, he if he still has it in the dark bit, he will actually get that uh, trait, which is kind of cool. I like that. Dad's cooking dinner. Baby's eating food. Let's put the baby away. Put him out. And then I think we'll go to the bathroom if the baby doesn't... The baby. The panda would like to leave. <laughs> I might get him to go over here and he can draw. So let's have a look at some of the new stuff that's in the house as well while we've got it here. Um, I've obviously whoopsies, got most stuff I can um, from the pack, but some things just didn't match. So I wanted to make it as good as possible. So we've got this bathroom here with the new bath or tub shower combo which is really cute oh that's dirty we've got the laundry basket there we've got this new oh my god look see the sheer curtains are my favorite they are so good oh someone's getting a phone call is it no one knows no one knows all right i'm going to call everyone to this meal so that everybody can enjoy it together except the baby because he's already he's already eaten what's going on here and then we'll see if we can get them all to sit down and have a dinner. Here's the new fireplace as well. I just love it. It's so cute. Stop eating! No! They should all be sitting at the... T they're not. They're not. Sit here. This is weird. It worked for me like the first time. And then that's it. Where's the bear? Get here and have your, <laughs> have your fish and chips. It's nine o'clock at night. Here we go. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. And here comes Bear. So basically this is what a good parenting household is supposed to look like. I mean, we've got some good kids, we've got a good family, there's good aura, everybody's happy, except for the Bear who isn't a bear, but he's still a bear. You get the idea. And, um, yeah, they're just really happy to be spending time with each other, and it's just super cute, and I hope everybody grows up to be great. Oh, yabba. <laughs> huh. And look, Leah's going to clean up the table. What a good dude. Now... I'm going to swap over to this house now and we'll see the difference between the two households. And here we are at the Monroe house. So we've got 
Michaela heading in, <laughs> probably after sneaking out after curfew. But like I said, the difference between these two houses are that the parenting values are completely different. So let's go in. Let's meet the family. Oh, wait. Abigail's coming out on her own. So Abigail's our toddler. She is... Oh, she's silly. She's silly. What are you doing? You're watching him do what? Nothing. Well, you know what? She's pretty gross. So she can take her clothes off. She can wander. She can nap on the ground. Make a mess. Oh, here comes mum. What's mum going to do? So mum is Mercedes. Yeah, I know. I didn't change the name. Sorry, my bad. And she is probably going to check the toddler. But let's see what we can do. I've basically just let these kids run run wild and I haven't let them do anything like they just do whatever they want so it's probably the worst thing but Mercedes has the irresponsible trait so ignoring bills and slacking off brings some joy um so that's really funny and then we've got dad Dallas who's currently out the back at 11 26 p.m sliding on the uh slip and slide which is great um he's argumentative which means he starts arguments and woof, him and mercedes just do not get along so at the moment we're cheering on the baby we've also got mercedes let's look at not mercedes michaela my goodness my bad michaela's checking out the the door now her her curfew is seven o'clock because she definitely breaks it all the time and look at her responsibility i mean look at her grades she's just she i don't think school in about a but her and dad just do not get along it's quite funny actually they they stir each other up So she can <laughs> do all these different new teen interactions, which are really funny. So we can show off our phone app. We can whine about our unfair life. We can obsess about our favorite video game. We can mock uncool adult. I haven't actually seen that yet. So let's do that. As you see, I've actually made the two houses to be exactly the same. I did that on purpose, except we've got one family of girls and one family of boys. Never <laughs> Oh my god, you're so not cool. And he's just going to take it. He's just going to take it. Let's see what we can do back. Oh, I see. Now they're going to tease each other. And he's just going to get riled up. He's just not going to have a good time. But you can jeer, insult, fix bad relationship. Maybe we can help fix. Nah, we're not going to fix that. She fights with her sister a lot too. And we haven't even met Lily yet. <laughs> um... So we can parenting, discipline, and then we've got some ways we can discipline here. So we've got calm. We can ask to not be mean, ask to not break curfew, or hug it out. So when did she break curfew? Firm, express disappointment. Let's express disappointment for being mean. Like, I don't want you to be mean, even though I'm mean myself. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Dad. But that means that her empathy is going to go up. But she probably needs to go up. Actually, her empathy is okay. Well, that's all right. But she is hot-headed, which is kind of, you know, the opposite. And I'll get her to apologize. Because, you know. She's lived a pretty unfair life. I've basically kept her in a bubble. <laughs> and she just broke the bubble. <laughs> anyway, so that's Dad and Michaela. Let's check out Lily. She's asleep. Um, me Now, Lily's going through a phase as well. She's going through a mean streak. This is just a mean family. And look at her room. It's so messy. So, so messy. And she's got one of these school projects here as well. This is like a medieval castle, which is pretty cute. Now, I'm a bit sad though. It doesn't really do anything. But the rocket does stuff, which is really cool. We had one then before, except Michaela broke them because she uh, she didn't want them. She just wanted to destroy them. So thanks for that, Michaela. Um, so yeah, we've got Lily's room. I'll show you the decorations. Though I did spend a lot of time decorating these <laughs> these rooms. 
and we've got the cute oh my god the sheer i love the sheer curtains they are my favorite and yeah again i love i love putting crazy crap on the walls it's my favorite and then we've got the laundry basket here and a wabbit tablet apparently um not a lot of content in the parents bedrooms but i did use a lot in the kids bedrooms and we've got the rainbow fairy lights in here with the book and yeah her homework hasn't been touched in like forever and then instead of having the dark kitchen we've got a beautiful bright living room dining room and we've got the white kitchen with the colorful red box look how cute the red box is i love how cute that is it's been painted um so yeah i mean even though it gives off like a cute family aura they hate they hate each other like they just really don't like each other now Lily's asleep. It is two in the morning. What are you doing? Actually, I'll show you this. This is really cute. You can actually tuck in kids. I didn't even know if that was a thing before, but you can definitely do it now, and it's so cute. Oh, I love it. Oh, what's she doing? Do we praise her for this? I've never seen her do something like this. This is wait, what? What? Where do you what? Anyway, Mercedes is just like I'm gonna clean this tub. So yeah, these these kids are the bad ones. As we can see, we've got... Now Lily isn't very good at controlling her emotions. And she's not very good at being empathetic. She's quite insensitive. Um, but her responsibility is like through the roof. And to be completely honest, I didn't even cheat. That was, She did that all on her own. <laughs> and then we've got Michaela who is the complete opposite, and she is about to get kicked out of school, I'm pretty sure. And then we've got the little baby, who's just a little a little poo head. All she does is burp and fart. Michaela has been playing in this trash, which is kind of disgusting for a teenager. I'm not sure what's going on here. But I'm just going to show you how we can break curfew. So obviously if you leave the household lot, it's going to break the curfew. But check out what happens here. So she's just going to leave and everything she does will just, the responsibility is just going to go down, down to down to down to down down. So if we get her to go here, she can, hello, she can shout forbidden words. Hi dad, what's up? She can be gross. <laughs> and the fact she laughs about it just cracks me up and she can be even more gross and she can fart it's so ladylike <laughs> and she's going to oh. oh I thought she could throw a tantrum but she apparently doesn't need to right now but I'm going to get dad to come out here dad is going to yell at her for doing this parenting discipline we are going to punish her <laughs> we are going to ground for breaking curfew so her responsibility is still going down he's going down it's almost in the red <laughs> look at him with his glass of water thinking he's all that oh not happy been grounded you are gonna have no phone yeah so her responsibility is going up but if I know Michaela she's going to shout these forbidden words <laughs> and she's got a phone oh that's a bit naughty what she can actually do is get a phone and we can break curfew stealthily Let's send a playful text and we'll send it to Leo. So yeah, see, she's just losing her responsibility because not only is she breaking curfew, but she's also breaking her grounding. <laughs> she thinks it's hilarious. She's in so much trouble. So much trouble. Anyway, let's get Lily up and see what she's doing.
What's Lily doing? She's going to have some chips for breakfast. Well, that's that's fair enough too. Um, I don't even know why they keep chips in the fridge. What what do they mean by chips anyway? Like, can someone clarify that? Are they potato chips? Are they crisps? What is she doing? Anyway, um, she may have already done her homework, which is kind of good because she does it on her own. Oh, and then we've got little Miss Mess over here making a mess. I just love this interaction. It's so adorable. Now, because Mum is irresponsible, she should be able to come here and encourage. Let's encourage this making a mess. What's Dad going to do? He's doing nothing, apparently. He's watching! That's good. That's good. And now she's going to come and she's going to be like, Yay! Thanks. Yeah! You make that mess! Woohoo! So then her responsibility is going to go down. <laughs> so you can see how, like, and it, it, it kind of boggles my mind a little bit because this is what parenting is really like. Um, how if you're a bad parent, you then put it onto your children. Oh no, Michaela, have you got spots? Is she going to ask for advice? School is stupid! I should just be able to start working or living life. Can I never go to school again? School teaches important things. Oh, her responsibility increased. Well, you know what? You should get a job. <laughs> I don't think she'd ever be able to get a job. Maybe I'll play this family properly. Oh, we are getting some advice from Lily. Last recess, no one wanted to play with me. I climbed around on my own. If that happens again, what should I do? Oh, Oh, that's really sad. Let's ask other kids. There we go. Conflict re resolution. But she's on a mean streak, so <laughs> chances are she'll probably be nasty. Now, I've had some of the teens go through their... their mean streaks as well which is hilarious oh my goodness yuck wow there's some serious spots you got going on there babe um but yes yeah, sometimes they can wake up in a foul mood and it is so funny because they actually like hobble along i'll see if i can find some footage and i'll put it here It's a great walk. It's hilarious. And she just, oh, they just throw themselves around. It's so funny. <gasps> anyway, I think that's all I've got for you today. Um, you guys wanted to see some gameplay. So I have put some gameplay, I've put some pass, and I've put some build and buy mode stuff there. So that's pretty much everything to do with this pack. I'm seriously so excited. It has been so much fun like playing this one. I actually played it too much and then I, <laughs> I forgot that I was supposed to be actually doing videos. But... Um, I will have a review up on residententertainment.com very shortly and we will hopefully see these families in another Let's Play soon. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!